I'm making some fig and hazelnut biscotti. These are great to have over the Christmas period as they last about a month. Delicious in the morning with a coffee or even after a big meal, just as something sweet with something like a limoncello. They also make a great edible gift wrapped in some pretty cellophane. And as I said, they last up to a month, so perfect. I haven't chopped the fig up too small um, because you're gonna put it into the biscotti dough and then you're gonna cut the biscotti up again so they'll be cut up smaller once you've baked. Next, add the plain flour and the baking powder. Just going to sieve the flour and the baking powder just to get rid of any lumps. Add the light brown sugar. Crack three eggs into the mix. In they go. I'm just mixing this with a fork. It's quite a dry mixture, but don't worry, it will come together nicely. Right, I'm just going to go in with my hands just to start bringing it together. That looks good, so I'm going to put the nuts and the figs in. Right, that's ready now to roll out. So I'm just going to pop some flour on the work surface. Divide the dough into four pieces before rolling each out to a sausage shape, around 20 centimetres in length. I used to think that making biscottis were quite difficult, but really easy and really delicious. They do spread a little bit during cooking, so make sure you've got enough of a gap. Bake these for around 30 minutes at 140 degrees Celsius. Take them out of the oven and leave them to cool slightly before doing anything further with them. Once they've cooled, use a sharp knife to cut out slices, around two centimetres in width. Lay them flat on the baking sheet before popping them back in the oven for a further 20 minutes. Leave the biscotti to cool completely before dipping them in chocolate which makes them even tastier. Once the chocolate stops dripping, leave them to set. The only way to eat these is with a coffee. What's great about biscotti is that they last for up to a month in a tin. So there's really no pressure for you to eat them all over the festive season.